Welcome back to my channel and some news today. Well, after stocks rebound on Monday, Kramer explains how the market can keep rallying. Jim Kramer discusses the recent stock market rebound and shares insights on how the market can sustain its positive momentum. He may discuss factors like economic indicators, earnings reports, or market sentiment. 2. Shane acquires British fast fashion brand Misguided as it looks to expand global reach Shane, a popular online fashion retailer, has acquired Misguided, a British fast fashion brand. This acquisition is part of Shane's strategy to expand its global presence and offer a wider range of fashion products. 3. Tesla shares drop 5 on Panasonic battery warning, down 18 since Q3 earnings report Tesla's stock experienced a 5 drop following a warning from its battery supplier, Panasonic. This decline comes after Tesla's Q3 earnings report, which may have raised concerns among investors. 4. Samsung expects memory chip demand to improve. As operating profit beats expectations of Samsung, the South Korean technology giant, anticipates an improvement in demand for memory chips. This is a positive development, as Samsung's operating profit has exceeded expectations. 5. Bank of Japan increases flexibility on yield curve control, keeps rates unchanged. The Bank of Japan has adjusted its approach to yield curve control, which influences interest rates. While they've increased flexibility, they've chosen to keep rates unchanged. This may have implications for the Japanese economy and monetary policy. 6. Oil could soar to record high of $1.150 if Israel Hamas war escalates further. World Bank says the World Bank has issued a warning that oil prices could reach a record high of $1.150 per barrel if the conflict between Israel and Hamas escalates further. Geopolitical tensions in the Middle East can significantly impact oil markets. 7. Rampage by anti-Semitic mob puts pressure on Moscow to confront rising ethnic tensions in Russia and anti-Semitic mob's violent actions have created pressure on Moscow to address the growing ethnic tensions within Russia. This incident highlights the need for addressing issues related to discrimination and violence. 8. A festering powder keg in Europe is lurking in the shadow of the Israel-Hamas war. The Israel-Hamas conflict has cast a shadow on a potential crisis in Europe, characterized as a festering powder keg. This suggests that unresolved issues or tensions could lead to a crisis in the region. 9. Apple announces new M3 chips and cuts the price of the entry-level MacBook Pro. Apple has unveiled new M3 chips for its MacBook lineup. Additionally, the company has reduced the price of the entry-level MacBook Pro. These moves may attract consumers and impact the competitive landscape of the laptop market. 10. The UK is gearing up for a pivotal summit on AI. Here's what you need to know the United Kingdom is preparing for an important summit focused on artificial intelligence and AI. The summit may address AI-related policies, research, and development, and its outcomes could influence the future of AI in the UK. 11. Zombie firms are filing for bankruptcy as the Fed commits to higher rates to some zombie firms, which are typically financially distressed companies kept afloat by low interest rates, are now filing for bankruptcy. This trend is occurring as the Federal Reserve signals its commitment to raising interest rates, impacting the ability of such firms to refinance their debt. 12. Eurozone inflation drops to a two-year low in October. The economy shrinks in the third quarter in the Eurozone. Inflation has decreased to a two-year low in October. Additionally, the economy of the Eurozone experienced a contraction in the third quarter. These economic indicators reflect challenges in the region. 13. BP shares down 4 after third quarter profit plummet BP, a major energy company, saw its shares decline by 4 after its third quarter profits experienced a significant drop. Factors such as changes in oil prices and demand can influence the performance of energy companies like BP. 14. Pfizer swings to a quarterly loss due to Paxlovid, COVID vaccine write-offs Pfizer, a pharmaceutical company reported a quarterly loss, primarily due to accounting write-offs related to the Paxlovid treatment and COVID-19 vaccine production. This financial update sheds light on Pfizer's pandemic-related business activities. 15. Beer giant Abinbev beats forecasts, but Bud Light Boyhot continues to hit U.S. Revenues Abinbev, a global beer company, exceeded financial forecasts. However, its U.S. Revenues continue to be affected by a boycott of its Bud Light brand. The boycott might be related to various factors, including consumer preferences or external events. 16. Chinese tech giant Alibaba launches upgraded AI model to challenge Microsoft. 
Amazon Alibaba, a leading Chinese tech company, has introduced an upgraded artificial intelligence AI model. This initiative is aimed at challenging the AI capabilities of global tech giants like Microsoft and Amazon. It signifies the ongoing competition in the AI space. 17. Western companies are at risk of losing the biggest market race of all to China op ed This opinion piece discusses how Western companies could potentially lose out in the global race for market dominance, particularly to China. It reflects concerns related to market access, competition, and geopolitical shifts. 18. 62 of Americans are still living paycheck to paycheck, making it the main financial lifestyle, Report finds a report reveals that 62 of Americans continue to live paycheck to paycheck. This financial lifestyle suggests that many individuals and households face financial challenges and may not have substantial savings. 19. Markets are on board with the Fed's higher for longer policy. CNBC survey shows that according to a CNBC survey, financial markets appear to be in alignment with the Federal Reserve's policy of maintaining interest rates at higher levels for an extended period. This suggests that investors anticipate and accept the Fed's approach. 20. Biden administration to crack down on junk fees in retirement plans The Biden administration is planning to address what it considers junk fees in retirement plans. This initiative aims to protect the interests of individuals saving for retirement and ensure that they are not burdened with unnecessary fees. If you're eager to stay ahead of the curve, subscribe now and join our growing community of informed viewers. Don't miss out on my high quality content, hit that subscribe and like button, ring the notification bell, and be part of the conversation.